My dad disappeared the day my mother was murdered. Now I'm all alone. I loved my mother so much. This was the saddest day of my life. Imagine what Kevin's going through. to bind her children to you. Where's Tony? Our heavenly home where the saints are. I never expected this. Where does this much meat? You know that go forth guy. He's training for the glutton bowl this weekend. Oh. I've never seen him this bad. What a place. I can't believe she... Why? What a place. What a place. He seemed like a different person. kept everything inside. I wish they could have loved each other as much as I loved them. Dad, we need to talk about this. You What's know what she did. That's why I don't trust her anymore. How you doing today, Tony? Hey, Gene. Here's your order. Thanks. What do I owe you? Don't worry about it. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. this.
Put me in, coach. I'm ready to do it. What? The 48-hour film project is lots of teams getting together, teams of filmmakers. They draw a genre out of a hat. In our case, it was a horror film. They get a line of dialogue. Characters, name, and occupation. And then there's a prop. The film has to be four to seven minutes. It's a great contest to get people's juices going. So you get the chance to be a filmmaker, to be a scriptwriter. I love horror movies. Is that why we rushed all weekend? 48 hours. 48 hours. 48 hours. 48 hours. 48 hours. Oh, OK. I, I get it now. You have to do it in 48 hours. So that, OK. My favorite part of film, uh, even looking back, was the butcher shop. I had a lot of anticipation how that scene would play out. Once I finally saw it, it was my favorite part of the film. The lighting was there, the audio was there, I mean, just, just everything. I felt incredibly liberated. There was raw meat just sort of simmering in the stew. feel sorry for him because he's lost his mom. You go back six days later, oh man, it's like this whole psychological trip. It's like maybe it's him, but then again, maybe it isn't him. Maybe it isn't him. But you know, you know. Total psychological trip. The assistant editor, Rebecca, I told her that I wanted a full frontal close-up of the face, not not a 75 degree angle. And she said she'd do it. I'm not saying she's a bad person or a bad editor, but I am saying she's two-faced. And uh, that's why I don't trust her anymore. You know, there's a reason I was Moner number one. Eat that, Rebecca. Not only did I have more words in my line, than Mourner number one. But my line got in there twice. And I was blown away by how smooth, how almost no stress, everything flowed perfectly. Natasha, that last, that last scene with your, your, your music scoring. Um, Natasha told me there was gonna be like plenty of time to work on the audio because it was like the final thing. We were gonna have one day, that's what she said. But she lied. Por eso yo no confío en ella. We were doing really well there, and... He was MIA for like four hours. We checked the men's rooms, of course. I had to leave for a few hours. It was Frank, so we also checked the ladies' rooms. That day, Frank and I got wasted and watched the socks. Pendejo. Joe wet his pants twice. If you're editing a film and, and you're not pissing yourself, you should really be thinking. Joe took this as a kind of license to be able to, to piss on himself whenever he felt like it. The first time is understandable. He didn't even seem to notice. It's more like, it looked like he was doing it for fun. You just don't have time to take bathroom break. It happens. You know, people say things they shouldn't. I'll give you an instance. When Natasha thought she could wrap cables quicker than I could, I'm the cable master. New England film. A lot of them say partial nudity, some nudity, whatever, you know. I did say that Frank was no nudity. <laughs> uh, Kate Ryan refuses to do nude scenes. Um, 
Can I say this? I think this isn't going to be displayed anywhere, right? Okay, um, you know, it's Kate Ryan doesn't like to do nude scenes because she is a centaur. Do you know what a centaur is? It's, it's you, half of you was a horse almost like. Kate Ryan, Kate Ryan is a horse. She, she's got horseshoes. <laughs> they're made, their horseshoes are made out of, they're made out of the, you know that bubbly wrap that when you're a little kid you like to, you like to poke the holes in it? That's what her horseshoes are made out of. Tom Mixon is a character. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a pizza burp. <laughs> I've had pizza in days. Oh, and if I was going to do an accent, it would probably be French. Particularly when I played not the British proper girl, but the British whore. When men drinks um, six or seven liters of vodka, he has problems remembering what he did and who he killed. The favorite memories have mostly to do with um, the times when we brought in the prostitutes into, uh, into the trailers. They were more for moral support. We played a few rousing games of Euchre. Um, I still don't really know how to play this game. Uh, of course, as we all know, and is stereotypically so, Roulette, of course, me being Russian, I brought the gun and it made people scared. They didn't want to play with me. They said, Kevin, Kevin, why would you want to shoot yourself? And I said, that's half the fun. You don't die. Actors, what are you going to do with them? I don't know. My favorite part of the weekend had to be the smell at the butcher shop. It turned out that you know, one, one, of the, one of the sides of beef was not completely dead. The stench in the butcher shop was nasty when we first got there. It's fantastic. Really. But then you got used to it after a little while, but then that makes you feel uncomfortable because you're like, wow, I'm used to nasty smells. So I felt bad inside. I don't know if I'm going to work with them again because people do that kind of thing. I guess that's just, that's why I don't trust her anymore. Horror film? Was, was that a genre that you guys had? Like, I think you guys might have misunderstood. You guys might have interpreted it as horrible. La verdad es que, aunque Inigo se quedara todo el crédito, yo hice todo el jale. There is one person who is a giant among men, a gargantuan among giants, a leviathan amongst gargantuans. And that man, David Cunai. I would equate Frank at moments as uh, a Hitler figure. If only I could take down live media. The smell of the scheisse is so pervasive. But it brings a certain schadenfreude, perhaps. I like to try different techniques um, to inspire the actors. Well, you know, at first he made us feel pretty confident. Frank's producing abilities were, were great. Oh, um, you could really tell that the stress was starting to get to him, you know? Frank at one point did rather throw a wobbly. Running around in a diaper, slapping people in the face. I don't know where Frank runs out in a diaper. I, I don't know. I mean, those kind of things happen here, like, often, so... I have seen him slap people in the face uh, with his diaper. Running around with this fish. Frank, where the hell did the herring come from? And I turn around and he's defecating in the corner of the room. Slap me in the fucking face again with a herring, and I'm walking next time. I think Ed and I really hit it off. You don't slap people in the face with a fish. Hey, Kev, it's me. Hey, I need some help moving some stuff this weekend. Uh, I know you got that thing at the orphanage, but uh, believe me, there'll be orphans next week. All right, I need you over there at 10 o'clock. If you don't, I'm going to be upset. You know what? To thank you, I'm gonna get you a coffee. Oh, come on, buddy. You like coffee, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Get I you get... a coffee. Thanks. That's really nice of you. You're so kind.
What's up? Oh, it's great. Um, so are you coming back anytime soon? Hey, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks? Oh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, well, Dunkin' Donuts is a little closer, but uh, it's a longer wait. As long as it tastes like coffee, it's great. You don't care? How about Starbucks? Oh, okay. Just can you come back? Your, your elevator's really pissing me off. No, no, no. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just please, you help me. I'm helping you. Okay, bye. and I respect what you... I got a game to get to in 30 minutes. Of, of course, you gotta, you, you gotta get to the game. I... Well, if you wanna carry my friends down, I guess. So, uh, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, second one I've got in two years. You like BMWs? Yeah. I bet you do. They're nice. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you, uh... Take a ride. We'll see. Okay. <sighs> oh, uh, hi. 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 Can I, can I help you? Uh, I'm just moving, moving some boxes. Well, you know, I, I just like. Uh. Uh. uh well, yeah. if, if you don't mind. Uh. Is that too much for you? No, I got it. Do you want me to take one? Do you want me to take you out to coffee? Sh sure. Oh, That'd be nice. Okay. I don't really know anyone around here. Uh, I'm, I'm Kevin. I'm Rebecca. It's nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. So what are you, do you live here? No, I'm afraid So Tom, how do you feel about mayonnaise? Well, Diet Coke. The classic iceberg salad containing iceberg lettuce, carrots, and red cabbage. No preservative, perishable, keep refrigerated. 170 grams of geisha chunk white tuna in water. Only one gram of fat, 10 grams of protein. Jif creamy peanut butter, fresh roasted peanut taste, on top of Pepperidge Farm swirl bread, baked with plump raisins and rich cinnamon. Well, I got some Kraft Deli Deluxe Pasteurized American Cheese. About 16 slices of good hearty taste. We got some ready to eat classic cut and peel bunny love baby carrots. Lowry's garlic salt, 311 grams. We got some prequel style all natural potato chips used for dips. Pineapple. Served from the produce department, originally transplanted from the fruit department. Not be local stop and shop. Mm. Oh, that's good. Cupcake, chocolate cake, creamy filling comes as eight individually wrapped snacks. Neon candle. Happy birthday to me. Oh. 
Sun chips, great multi grain taste, harvest cheddar, 30% less fat than regular potato chips. Feedback panel for nutritional information makes a great compliment to sandwiches, soups, and all your other lunchtime favorites. Copper tone sunscreen with insect repellent SPF 15. Adult formula. Enriched. Country Kitchen Eight Frankfurt Rolls. Tartar Control Listerine Antiseptic kills germs that cause bad breath, plaque, and the gum disease gingivitis. Great for hot dogs or sausages. Winter Mint Flavor. Soda Water. Hershey's milk chocolate nugget. Thomas, English muffins. That's all I have to say. Marcus, Marcus, each word thou hast spoke hath weeded from my heart a root of ancient envy. If Jupiter from yon cloud should speak divine things and say tis true, I'd not believe them more than thee. Thou noble Marcus, I do contest as hotly and as nobly with thy love as ever an ambitious strength that I contend against thy valor. Know thou first, I love the maid I married. Never man sighed truer breath but to see thee here. <laughs> More dances my rapt heart than when I first my wedded mistress saw bestride my threshold. By thou Mars, I tell thee, we have a power on foot that I had purpose enough like you thy target from thy brawn or lose my arm for it. Thou hast beat me out twelve several times and I have nightly since dreamt of encounters twixt thyself and me. We have been down together in my sleep, unbuckling helms, fisting each other's throats, and waked half dead nothing. Worthy Marcus, had we no other quarrel to walk Rome but that thou art thence banished, we could muster from twelve to seventy, and pouring war into the bowels of ungrateful Rome like a bold flood overbear it. Oh, come, go in, take our friendly senators by the hands. They now are here taking their leaves of me, who am prepared against your territories, but not for Rome. Self. Even as one heat another heat expels, or as one nail by strength drives out another, so the remembrance of my former love is by a newer object quite forgotten. Is it mine eye or Valentine's praise, her true perfection, or my false transgression that makes me reasonless to reason thus. She is fair, and so is Julia that I love, that I did love, for now my love is thawed, which like a waxen image canst a fire bears no impression of the thing it was. Methinks my zeal to Valentine is cold, and that I love him not as I was one. Oh, but I love his lady too, too much, and that's the reason I love him so little. How shall I dote on her with more advice that thus, without advice, begin to love her? Tis but her picture I have yet beheld, and that hath dazzled my reason's light. 
<laughs> but when I gaze on her perfections, there is no reason but I shall be blind. If I can check my erring love, I will. If not, to compass her, I'll use my skill. All I want is a room somewhere Far away from the cold night air With one enormous chair I wouldn't it be lovely Lots of chocolate for me to eat Lots of coal making lots of heat Warm hands, warm face, warm feet I wouldn't it be lovely how so lovely sitting out so lutely still I would never budge till spring crept over me when the sill someone's head resting on my knee warm and tender as he can be who takes good care of me how wouldn't it be lovely Loverly, 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 loverly. Mr. Meatman, bring me some pork. I want a juicy morsel on my fork. Bring me some chitterlings and livers, maybe. That I can marinate in their own gravy. Mr. Meatman. Yes? Load up my car. Lemon pepper chicken and steak tartare. Please turn on your magic grill. Mr. Meatman, bring me. Please, please bring me. Mr. Meatman, bring me that you killed stuff. <laughs> Stuff that you killed. <laughs> Doe, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Far, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread. La, a note to follow so. T, a drink with jam and bread that will bring us back to do oh 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 do a deer a female deer ray a drop of golden sun me a name i call myself far a long long way to run so a needle pulling thread la i know to follow so tea a drink of jam and bread that will bring us back to do do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do mi 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 so so re fa fa la ti ti when you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. I've acquired this from uh, Kevin Costner who gave it to me on the set of Bull Durham. He actually threw it at my head, but finders keepers. This is a bicycle pump from a deleted scene in The Wizard of Oz. It was uh, happening when Margaret Hamilton had Toto in her basket. Not only did he jump out, but in the original version, he bites a big hole in the back tire. And she comes to a screeching halt and falls off, and this team of midgets come up. Now, you know that in The Wizard of Oz, in the final scene, board, Dorothy wakes up and sees everybody's equivalent, the people she met in Oz. Well, there were originally a bunch of midgets there. They were the uh, road crews that were one of the early New Deal projects. It was, it was called uh, AMRAC, the All Midget Roadside Assistant Crews of Kansas. They went around and remodeled Ford Model T trucks, and they had blacksmithing cape that assisted them. Um, you know, anybody disabled by the road. And so that's why the Munchkins, anyway, they decided that they kind of had to cut that out of the film. They thought it was slowing things down. So um, the Munchkins uh, were disconcerted. I mean, they were used a lot in the movie and then taken out. The, the big 
wind machines they had could sort of blow them around in a tornado sequence. The next thing this thing turned up was on the set of Bicycle Thief in Italy, where it disappeared from that set. It was, ironically, it was stolen. And um, there is scientific evidence that it might have doubled as the dynamite plunger in Bridge on the River Kwai, which would make this no ordinary pump indeed. I try to take good care of her. I was, uh, I used to clean the rust about cut quite a bit. They said, no, you know, if you do that too much, you're going to lose part of the original. So that's why I don't de-rust her anymore. You know, I'm really happy with the way everything went. Everything went as smoothly as I could have imagined. Frank did an excellent job with the producing, uh, despite his diaper rampage and his uh, fish escapade. Um, other than that, I, I really couldn't ask for more as far as a cast and crew, and I'm really proud of the group I'm in. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. I guess you could say we gel. <laughs> 